Hey guys, welcome back to another random review. Today's random review, we are going to be looking at the True Glow TFX sights. Uh, this is on my Glock 42. And we are going to be comparing it with the new Mepro FT self illuminated bullseye sights. Both of the sights are night sights. Uh, they're both equipped with tritium along with fiber optic, uh, so it shines day or night. Uh, this is my Glock 19, this is my Glock 42. Um, so the Glock 42, as you can see when you look down, it's got the really big, bright, just uh, really clean, good looking sights uh, with the TFX. Um, and with the uh, Meprolite Bullseye, you can see, that it's more of a red dot sight system. Um, both sites are very good, but uh, today we're gonna be reviewing the prices along with my personal opinion. Um, so coming in at 199, the Mepro lights are obviously more expensive, being brand new, um, also diminishing your need for the front sights. It's, it's just your cheaper way of going to the red dot system. And honestly, in my personal opinion, the better way no batteries, no big blocky red dot sight. I mean, this is really sleek. It doesn't make the gun look goofy. You don't have to worry about getting your slide dremeled out to for any wear and tear or anything. Um, so, I mean, it's this is just a, I mean, you can even rack the slide off of this alone. So just a, a really cool option that you got there. And of course, you're gonna be paying more money, but at the same time, you're not gonna be paying as much for the red dot sight and that type of system. So the market is, is good for, for those sites. With the true glow sights, you're gonna notice that it's totally different, obviously, but also that they, they're they kind of big, but at the same time, this is a small gun. You can almost rack something off that. I mean, especially with when this spring in the 42 gets a little more worn down and used. Um, this uh, 42 shoots awesome with this. I mean, my groupings are within inches at, you know, seven out yards. And I'm no Hickok 45. I'm no nothing fancy. I'm not a very good shooter. But, uh, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just your regular guy that likes to go to the range every now and again. Only different thing about these is that you actually have that ring around it right there, which, which really, it really does help. I mean, when you're just kind of looking at down the sights and it's during the day, I mean, that white ring, surprisingly, you can't even really see it in the camera, but it does look really good, and it does it does bring attention to that front sight. With this one, I mean, this one, you just, you look for the green, bam. I mean, you can just see how quick that was on the camera. I mean, I'll just, I'll mix it up, and I'll try to align it, bam. You know, it's just, it's right there. I mean, I can do it on camera that easy. No going back and forth. You see green, you find that little dot, bam. Here is the bullseye in absolutely pitch black. Uh, it's glowing really good. You can even see the ring. Uh, the TFX glowing bright. You couldn't really even see it on the camera though. Uh, so I put it into low light and that way you could see it. Um, really bright in person along with the Mepro light, which is also really bright in person and the camera kind of gets it. But here's the uh, good lighting again so you can kind of see the difference in, during the day. It just the bullseye pops. So I was asked about installation. Now on the TFX, on the Glock 42, it was extremely easy your basic sights uh, except that on the Mepro light you only have to do one you can keep you can keep the front sights on there I actually just took mine off right before I made this video and as you can tell it looks pretty sweet so uh, you can see right down to the, the stainless steel barrel um, and you only have to do one and on top of that you can loosen and tighten the sights right there. Now to zero in the Mepro light and the, F, the TFX, uh, I used a small hammer and a small wood piece and just kind of tap, tapped it in there. With the Mepro light, it was extremely easy because I could just loosen up these screws here and they just slides right in a lot easier than the TFX sights. So another plus for the Mepro light. All you have to do is really kind of just see where that front sight falls, and it's just it, the front the front sight is essentially 
just illuminated green. It's exactly where it would it would be if I still had it on. So you you could base it off of that, which is another plus for the Mepro light. So what's important to know is that you might need to dremel down your holster just to accommodate that longer sight. I'm talking this much, really, really easy. Just kind of get it right where that sight will hit normally. Um, and with that same dremel, I actually dremeled out a tool that I had, and it is a three sixteenth by three and a quarter. Dremeled it down to kind of fit inside the Glock. It's just a tool that I had, thought I could save money. Like, it's like seven bucks for a Glock tool. I recommend the Glock tool. Honestly, I mean, this thing is, this thing is sweet. I mean, yes, it's $200. But think of it this way, your the red dot sight has been proven to be a pretty advanced and good way to, to set up your gun. This gives you kind of the best of both worlds with a regular sight, no batteries. It's a pretty steep price, but not as much as the red dot, so a cheap price when you're looking to get this type of, of sight. And to make things even better, it's just a really fun sight to shoot with. And it, it's not going to mess you up. You're going to have accurate groupings just like you normally would. Practice is what makes that get better. Not a cool looking sight. So if you want to hit the bullseye a couple more times, I should just go into the range, practicing, seeing how that goes. So if you're looking to get yourself a good pair of night sights, you can't go wrong with either of these. I like the Mepro lights. Your opinion is your own. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe.